Hello everyone, welcome to our ATEC channel. Today we're going to explain why it's not surprising to find an engineer at the helm of technology companies or those whose businesses revolve around science. Why is an engineering degree useful to a leader? Before we can tell you more, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. Every day you will discover a different and original topic. Without further ado, let's find out why so many CEOs are engineers. Let's get started. To begin, a CEO is the highest ranking person in a company or organization. He or she is responsible for overall success of a business, entity, and the making and management decisions at this highest level. They have an ultimate authority to make final decisions. The role and responsibilities of a CEO vary from company to company, often depending on the organizational structure or size of the business. In addition to overall success of the company, the CEO is responsible for leading the development and execution of long-term strategies. He or she assesses a risk and assures that they will be monitored and minimized. They set strategic objectives and ensure that they are measurable. All of these with the goal to increase the sharehold value. They must also communicate on behalf of the company with shareholders, government entities, and public. They create and implement the company's vision and mission. They must keep abreast of market competition, expansion opportunities, industry developments, etc. Now, it is commonly known that CEOs have a management background, usually a degree in leadership retail fields such as business administration, management, or public administration. But, can an engineer become a CEO? The answer is yes, definitely yes. Engineers excel when it comes to managing a business and making tough decisions about the future. So, there are several good reasons why engineers would make a great CEO. According to the Harvard Business Review, 24 of the top 100 CEOs in the world are engineers. Without a doubt, some of the world's greatest entrepreneurs and businessmen come from an engineering background. When it comes to CEOs, one of the most well-known is the famous Jeff Bezos, the former CEO of Amazon. He is an engineer and does not have an MBA, which is the highest level of international education in business management. The latter does not stop accumulating billions. With $177 billion in 2021, his fortune has climbed to $64 billion in one year. It is also worth noting that Amazon shares have risen by more than 4% as the company has benefited from the increase of demand for e-commerce with the COVID-19 pandemic. For the record, in early days of Amazon, he used to meet personally with each candidate. He would ask the strange questions like how many gas stations are there in America? The goal was to find out the candidate that had analytical approach. The same goes for Elon Musk, the boss of Tesla and SpaceX, for the man whose future is estimated for more than $260 billion. Business graduates spend too much time in broad meetings when they should be focusing on the product to improve and increase sales. So there are similarities between Elon Musk of Tesla and SpaceX, Jeff Bezos, former CEO of Amazon, Tim Cook of Apple, Sundin Pichi of Alphabet, and Mary Baraka of General Motors, or Jensen Hugen of DVIDIA, who all have engineered relation degrees. Thus, running into engineers at top of the market leading companies shouldn't be a surprise. According to 2018 study, for the second year in a row, there were more CEOs with engineering degrees than MBAS. 34 versus 32. In some cases, they had both surveys found that nearly 45% of Fortune 500 CEOs majored in engineering and business administration. About one third of CEOs majored in engineering and only 11% graduated from business school. Engineering degrees cover a variety of fields such as computer science, electrical, chemical, and mechanical. According to Harvard Business Review, there are plenty of super CEOs at non-engineering companies like A. Hauser Bush, InBev, International Exchange, and Sampo. So it's clear that engineers have certain characteristics that make them well suited for the role of CEO. The education and experience of engineers are unique. With a strong focus on math, science, and technology, engineers call upon to design, build, create, improve, and influence just about everything we use in modern society. This puts engineers on the front lines of solving difficult problems and doing things that are impossible for others. It's no surprise, then, that engineers move into leadership positions when their experience can be used to improve broader enterprise. First, engineers have a practical and prematic orientation. Engineering is about what works and endures a philosophy of building things that work, whether it's a machine, a structure, or an organization. 
Engineering also teaches how to do things efficiently and eloquently, with reliable results and with a margin of safety. In addition, engineers have an analytical mind and solve problems better than anyone else. This allows more informed decision making. A survey by American Association and Quality found that 69% of respondents believe that analytical thinking, organizational skills, and problem solving are key attributes of running a successful business. Systematic problem solving is the foundation of engineering. It's also the basis of what makes a good CEO. Engineers tend to be more organized and logical, considering all consequences and decisions before making a commitment. Dental-oriented, they're also there to consider all the variables before making a decision. They are a little different, not like your average person. It turns out that being an engineer requires a strong mental aptitude and willingness to pay attention to the smallest details that others may ignore. Attention to detail is in their blood, which is understandable. Why? To put it simply, let's say you're designing a bridge. One small, barely noticeable mistake could result in a collapse of the entire structure, costing countless millions of dollars and potentially the loss of a human life. That's one reason engineers are trained from their earliest days to pay attention to the smallest details and undoubtedly escape the attention of others. These details help propel them to the success that they take on a leadership position within a company. While engineers are generally described as introverts, this personality trait does not hinder their ability to excel leaders who inspire brilliance in the ranks. They have a unique way of seeing the world. It's a thought process. And in that process, teamwork is important to success. Together, they perform huge tasks and oversee millions, even billions of dollars. With the right people on their team, the entire project could be a total failure. What does this mean? Engineers are exceptional at picking the best talent. They try to create companies that can attract and retain the best talent. They work with people who understand them. In short, they persevere. To succeed in this environment, engineers must be stubborn by nature and enjoy solving difficult problems. Likewise, getting a company off the ground and moving forward requires incredible perseverance. Engineers know how to handle problems and don't blame others. The quality of an engineer's work is directly related to his reputation. And that's it. We've come to the end of our topic, and that's why there are so many CEOs with engineering backgrounds. Are engineers good CEOs in your opinion? Their qualities, do you think a good CEO should have? Do you know any engineer CEOs? Tell us in the comments. If you enjoyed our topic of the day, leave us a little blue thumbs up. Make sure you don't miss our next topic. Feel free to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell. Thanks for sticking around till the end, and see you in our video. See you next time on ATEC.